Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, the Blue 3 2 in this fall New Vegas, and I am back in the uh, Helios 1 power plant. Because I messed up. Since I can't find the pulse gun, for whatever reason, I can't seem to do the uh, third option. I have no choice but to do this one. And in order to do it properly, you need to set the thing to, to uh, power Archimedes. What's up? Now I need to fire it. Okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea. I've already done it. I just didn't realize it. Third one, I mean. Third option, I mean. It's possible. In fact, I'm gonna go with that. That assumption. No, I don't know what his problem is either. Uh, we're gonna have to go to Black Mountain. Well, 
not climbing up the damn thing. I like Black Mountain. Mountain is not a fun place. Full of super mutants. Nice punch, my dear. some killer fists on you, my dear. Dead Prospector, eh? What do you want, kitty? Well, I disagree. You're basing that on conjecture. I'm still wearing my spacesuit, aren't I? That's no good. I 
I'm gonna do uh, Still in the Dark before I finish with uh, Veronica's quest. Simply a good idea. Quiet, you. This is why I hate this mountain. Fickin' centaurs. to the roof. Am I either gonna die or sprout a new leg? Yeah. Save my uh Are they inside? Fine. Can you tell me? I can answer whatever question. History, I don't really care. Morocco. Excellent. Ready for the Repcon Tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. What the hell just happened? In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Here, a row of multicolored plasma fuels. Careful, they may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. Lovely. 
To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. On my left is an example of a mountain of Repcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. <laughs> How may I serve you, mistress? Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hats until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. Okay. And in front of me is a model, not actual size, of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets streaming into orbit. I should hope it's not actual size. Now these colorful fellows behind me are Repcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. Originally called the Z43521P by silly engineers, we preferred to call this little scrapper by its true nickname, the Green Bean. After all, which would you prefer in your backyard garden? A smoldering 743521P or a Green Bean? One sounds like it belongs if mentioned on the news, and make news it is, featuring Ropcon's plasma engine, it was so newsworthy that we decided to take the quantum matter modulation unit out and see if we can use it for non-explosive uses. Big Fat Fiery Fred V2931G may look like a big fat red rocket rocketeers, but old fatty here ran circles around the earth not so long ago, so let's see you keep up. Sure, V2931G's re-entry gave it its more commonly known nickname Big Fat Fiery Fred, but here at Repcon we choose to focus on the success and apply what we learned about explosive resistant shielding to future miles and even on our landing platforms. The newly reconstructed Lumpcon Run facility was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. Needle Nose. This sleek and purple R77 293A Needle Nose is what happens when you mix fossil and plasma in a rocket and shake it up. The fossil fuels punch this sharp nose terror through the sky and the plasma is used to shoot it through the sp through space to plants where Repcon can mine more fossil fuels, continuing the cycle again. Foundation mining research rights still negotiate. Now for the highlight of our tour. Due to a generous donation from Robco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. No, Around you. you are the incredible iBot, the fearsome sentry bot, and the <laughs> always helpful Mr. Handy. That helpfulness runs through our whole life. Ronco has always had an eye for robotics, and this little fellow is no different. This robotic marvel can not only recognize your face and voice with advanced facial and auditory recognition technology, it can also broadcast video and audio as well. Think of it. All the sights and sounds of your radio and TV in your living room at home blasted directly at you on the street, subway, bathroom, or wherever you may be. Never feel you'll never miss a news bulletin or presidential address again, no matter where you are. Exhibit brought to you by your friends Rapco. Whoa, watch your step. You don't want to act... You want to be facing this fearsome fellow if you're accidentally stumbling into a restricted area. Whether sporting the latest in dual miniguns, rockets, or laser cannons, the Sintrabot not only takes its job seriously, it also takes no prisoners. It's proof of Rocco's commitment to defense that these deadly guards are concealed in chambers throughout this facility, so let this be a warning. Watch where you step, or Rocco will come out guns a blazing. You can never have too many hands. Three, why not four? That was Robco's inspiration behind the popular and cost-effective Mr. Handy model, the first of the line shown here. Always a help around the house, whether with mom in the kitchen using its titanium circular saw, or in the garage with dad using its armor-piercing laser array. Mr. Handy is not just helpful, he's your friend too. 
This is the final stop on our tour. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Rockco and Repcon hopes to go. See those little rockets zipping about? They are manned by robots, tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Robco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. Tiny partner. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. It's got wheels. Some folks have asked, why not a Protectron with wheels? Robco wasn't afraid to answer that question. The Protectobot is the answer. Well, safety standards prevent this freewheeling dino from entering mass market production. Despite Robco's best intentions and teams of lawyers, we take consolation in letting you see this extremely well-funded experiment as it was intended. A robot moving so fast it looks like it's standing still. Ah. Perhaps now we will not get into trouble. Perhaps it doesn't matter either way. How may I serve you, mistress? How many of these do I have? I think I need like 50. Could be wrong. I hope I am. Ridiculous amount. to say that safe is two safes, let it be two safes. How may I serve you, mistress? Do, I will destroy them. But I'd rather not have to. They're psycho on the desk. How may I serve you, mistress? 
Valid facial pattern detected. Thank you. Why is there buff out in the desk? Security badge. Sad to inform you that after many years of loyal service, Leonard Steep has stepped down from his position at Repcon. I wish him the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. For the time being, Julia Masters will be overseeing Leonard's department. His department heads will be meeting with Leonard today. Thank you all for your time. Sincerely, Piers Isley, General Manager, Repcon. If you recall, Uh, what's his name, uh, Mr. Guy person, I wasn't really paying attention to the name, did not want to sell out to Repco, and he partnered with his, his, what he thought was his trusted, uh, secretary in that regard. This proved a fatal mistake. She was working um, behind his back to finalize the deal. Third floor access is for executives only. Please. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. So you need high luck to get that, but you also can use low intelligence. If your character is dumb enough, he'll go, Yay, ice cream! Now that things have been set in motion, I am going to be your liaison and point of contact with Rocco. I'll be handling anything that arises during your transition to the Rocco family. My first priority is going to be the tightening up of your security. Well, you know Rocco handles many classified projects. Because of this, Repcon will need a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of it will be pretty in innocuous. However, all employees will be required to wear their security badges at all times. Please have your people start wearing their badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then everyone will be comfortable with new rules. Thank you for your time, Carl Rook. They love their sunset sarsaparilla around here. I have never had sarsaparilla. I think I've heard it's like root beer, but maybe I dreamt that. Yes, seriously, I have very weird dreams.
fortunate that I have the means to increase my uh, science right here, right now. Right here, right now. That was lucky. Disable robots. Leo, it's good to have you back in the office. I hope Lisa's feeling better as well. There was a nasty bug going around. Hopefully the kids didn't catch it. Either way, it's good to have you back in office. While you were at our office, I met with some executives of Robco. They are very interested in the potential that our organizations were showing our excellent officer to buy out. I'll have one of my assistants run over with the draft they gave me. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. I have no interest in selling my portion of the company to Robco. We went over this with Poseidon. This company... This Companies deal in defense contracts. This isn't what we are about and isn't something that I'm willing to support. I'm sending back the package. I'm sure you have a fairly solid idea where I think you can put it. Yours truly, Leonard Steele. I've heard more from my contacts over at Robco, and it sounds like they've already started buying up some of our public shares. There's just a little bit more support from our public stockholders and board members, it's not inconceivable that they could, that this amicable relationship could turn very hostile. It's in everyone's best interest if we take this deal while it's still sweet. I don't think it'll stay this way for long. And yeah, seniors, and then, and one of my contacts is beside an energy found the specs for the cancelled a plasma rifle. I'm sending them over to your team. From what I can tell, they've managed to resolve the matter of conversion issue you've been having with the Heisenberg compensation field. Fine with the data from the sabotage launch, I think you should have everything you need to complete the Q35. Colonel Mortelli, Mortelli is expecting results with this project. I don't need to tell you what a favorable evaluation from his desk will do for all of our stock, co stock portfolios. That's right. I'm stop functioning. Trouble me no longer with your nonsense. Behind that, uh, those hidden doors are, uh... What's it? Uh... Sentry bots. Needless to say, I don't want them activated. Well, I'm pretty sure they can't be at this point. Even so, the extra experience wouldn't hurt. Oops. Yeah, I think we're done here anyway. So I'll call it a video here. I'm the Blues 32. This is Fallout New Vegas. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.